Good afternoon. It's Jeremy. It's Thursday, August the 24th. And today I'm looking at the uh, GM DSS DSC uh, channel 70 signal. And previously in previous videos, I first started off using uh, signal capture files, which I found on a signal wiki page. And then um, since my balcony has been rebuilt, I've been able to put my antennas outside again. And I was able to get a, a DS signal, DSC signal on HF. And recently I was able to get a DSC signal on VHF. So what I did um, is I used the SDR Sharp has a very nice feature called the baseband recorder. And what you can do is you can actually save an IQ uh, samples from the whole 2.4 megahertz or whatever your sampling um, bandwidth is. And um, you can save it and then you can choose which DMOD to use. So what I did is I I found that there's a local coastal station transmitting around 2300 UTC. So about a minute before and a minute after the known transmission time, um, I used the baseband recorder to save, um, to save the whole baseband. The problem with using the baseband recorder, of course, is you're sampling uh, 2.4 mega samples per second. And each I and Q sample is, let's say, 16 bits. So the file grows enormously. So in other words, after a couple of minutes, you've got a file which is several giga gigabytes uh, in size. If you were to use the audio recorder, then that would be a lot simpler. It would only be several megabytes. The problem with the audio recorder is you have to pre-choose pre whether you're going to use, let's say, USB or NFM. Um, so let's just see around 146, I think it is, uh, there's some activity. And then we'll go over to multi-PSK and we'll see if there's a decode. So let's just run this, keep running it. I've got it's run. It's run now to 139. Let's see what happens here at 146. I think there's some activity. There we go. That was a small burst. There's a big burst. Let's stop that and see if there was anything in multi PSK. So we see we had a decode there in multi PSK. Um, if you go to the uh, if you go to the link in the blog post. Um, I've got some information there about um, various ways of decoding this. Uh, in my last post, by accident, I used USB. USB is a mode for HF, and actually USB also works for the VHF. The reason being is that if the modulation index is fairly low, then you're only going to have the primary components. Let's say you've got a mark and a shift frequency. You're only going to have, let's say, primary components and a bit of secondary components. Um, it's not ideal. Obviously, for VHF, it's, if it's narrowband FM, you should be using the narrow FM mode. Okay, so that's uh, a quick look at um, using the baseband recorder to look at the signal. Let's look at the simulation. Okay, so we're going to look at the Psychos simulation. The first thing we do is we're going to build the signal in a Psychos lab in the editor. So right here, uh, what I'm doing is I'm building the VHF code the VHF uh, DSC code and what we're going to do is run this um, the baud rate is 1200 and those uh, in the comments here you can see how the um, the code is built it's built according to ITURM 493 so we're going to run this it takes a while to calculate all the various um, Bytes. What we do is we create a structure. So we're going to read in the the I and the Q structure uh, with a, a timestamp into Psychos. So that's the data. We can look at it, expand it. So let's look at the random data. And now what we're going to do is we're going to load the ModNum toolbox and run Psychos. Then we'll open the file. Okay, so there's my Psychos model. Basically, what we have is we have the data coming in that we've just created, which is a random bit stream. And I'm going to go into a VCO. The VCO is set up for VHF. So basically, the center frequency is 1700 hertz. And it'll go mark 400 hertz up and space uh, 400 hertz down. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so the simulation is run now. Let's look at the, uh, the data here. Expand this out a little bit. Uh, 
<clears throat> Let's expand it some more. Okay, so we're clearly seeing the FSK structure here. There's my mark with a higher frequency of 2100 hertz. And there's my space, the lower frequency of uh, 1300 hertz. And let's look at the spectrum. There's my spectrum. Kind of the random spectrum there because of random data. It's centered around 1700. So that's a look at the psycho simulation. Uh, pretty well, if you want all the uh, details, you can check the blog posts. Uh, there are more pictures there of decodes and uh, the various parameters.